Hello everyone, this is Jimmy. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and a happy new year. I'll jump right into planning the week. So here are my two journals that I'm gonna work on today, one for January and one for the year. I actually did go ahead and decorate my page for January in my yearly insert. I kept it very simple. This is all Planner Perfect decorations, except for these stickers, which are Coco Daisy. And they're from a past kit that I never did use, so I thought it matched well. And I liked keeping it simple and clean for January. So anyway, I will do the rest of this later by putting tabs in for each month. But for now, I'll work on this. And this is a blank, wide, Planner Perfect journal. And I chose this cover for obvious reasons. And I don't think I like the pink, so I think I'm going to draw over this in black. And it's a blank journal, so I'll do a dashboard, and then I'll do four or so pages of gold pages. And then I'll do my weekly spreads. And then at the end, I'll do my little meal plan pages. All right, so I'm going to speed up the video right now. Oh, before I do, I want to show you this. This is the free printable from Coco Daisy. So isn't that pretty? So it goes with the snowflakes really well. Um, I'll probably use this as maybe some of the dashboard. And I'm going to use the Silent Moon collection and probably some of the Planner Perfect things too. I'll use both. So that's what I'll be using. So I'll speed it up and I'll talk to you afterward.
Okay, so I only did a little bit of this, but I wanted to go ahead and post it, and then I will post the second part later in the week. I went ahead and outlined this with my Micron pen, which does not smear. I don't know if I'm going to color it in or not. I'm going to put it in the um, Traveler's Notebook and see how it looks. And I might fill it in later. But at least this way it's defined. That pink, you just couldn't see it when it's on there by itself. And then I'm just very simple. I don't know, I'm a little tired today. So I'm just not doing as much as I usually do. Which is fine because of the Christmas hubbub. So... Yeah, just coming back down from the peak. So this is the only thing I did here. This was a free printable from Coco Daisy, and this is just a sticker from Coco Daisy. Welcome 2024. I might put something on here. I might not. My goal pages I didn't do yet. And then my first week, I wanted it to reflect celebration in the new year. As you saw, I put the blue stickers on there for the numbers and then took them off. It just didn't look right, these. It just didn't go, the blue. The blue does go with the whole Coco Daisy theme, but I used more Planner Perfect for this first week. I just like the, um, you know, having that, you know, the, having the 2024. And I like the sparkly for New Year. This, some of this I used, I got this at Michael's. I just wanted the thin, the narrow washi tape because I like putting it on the top, you know, and the sides. I like putting thick and thin on there. So this has some pretty good colors. This will last a while. And so there's the first week, Monday. Yeah, see these and the sparkly just doesn't go with the Coco Daisy theme, but I am going to use that for the following week. Tuesday. I like this page. Wednesday. This is Coco Daisy, this washi tape. Thursday. This is Coco Daisy from last year. Friday. Saturday. And obviously with this Planner Perfect washi tape, you have to do up and down. I just like it better when there's nothing on the sides because I like when I write, I like it to go all the way to the edge. And then Sunday. So as you can see, I'm using a two page spread for Sunday and for Saturday. I counted out the pages and there's enough for this month to do that. So that's my first week. I wanted to show you something else though before I go. And that is something I did with my tip-in cards. I thought it was so cool. So I bought this from Michaels. This is just a plastic clear container and I thought it would be big enough for the tip-ins that I have, but it's not, but half of them can go in there. So I need to get another one and the other half I put in here, this is just a box where some electronic or something came in. So anyway, I did it, I don't know if you can see this. I put my tip ins, I made tabs for them. And on the tabs, I thought this was so cool. This isn't seasonal, these are just anytime washi tapes. So I put those on there. I thought that was so neat. And then these tip-ins are just generic ones that you can use any time of year. And then for winter, I put a lot of winter washi tape on. Isn't that cute? I thought that was so cool. And then spring, I just had so much fun doing this little thing. And then summer, you know, all the summer tip-ins <laughs> and fall. It's funny because I have so many more fall tip-ins than any other season because they're so pretty. 
So I just thought that was a neat thing. So now when I need my tip ends, I can just come in here and look through them instead of having to go through a lot. And then I found this. This is a little plastic case, and I just stuck that on top for the ones I'm currently using. They fit perfectly. So I can put the ones for January. This is a Cocoa Daisy from a few months ago, but I love it. That's good for New Year's and open my heart to new beginnings. So I put all my winter ones in here. And so I can keep them, keep them out. So I thought that was a cool idea. And I thought this was neat. So anyway, that is my setup for not the whole January, but for some of January and for the first week. And later this week, I will do a longer video with a more complete setup when I do the goal pages and things. So thank you so much for watching and Happy New Year! This is New Year's Eve right now. So tonight we'll be celebrating and hope everyone has a safe and happy new year. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.